Hello YouTubers, it's Champion DJK coming at you uh, yet again with another weekly video and this will be the first video for 2018. Um, hope you guys all have had a great start to the year. Um, I know I I did. Um, I found a chase already this week which was awesome because I got skunked last year in January and I didn't find a darn thing and uh, I was able to uh, score a green machine already, so uh, that is pretty sweet. Um, got this from my Toys R Us. Shout out to the good folks at Toys R Us, Babies R Us, in Appleton, Wisconsin, or I guess technically Grand Chute. Uh, but anyway, the staff there is awesome, by the way. Um, definitely, definitely cool people. Um, it's kind of nice because I go there and I talk to those guys all the time and stuff. Like they don't like. Uh, they don't give me, like, preferential treatment or anything like that. But um, the the people there definitely know when there's chase cars and stuff. And they will literally just, they'll put them right on the front peg. And they'll do that on purpose. Uh, but anyway, I was able to score this Green Machine Black Bandit. This is from the newest Black Bandit series, which is Series 18. Which, by the way, is a pretty awesome series. There's some really cool cars in it. Um... The only thing that I missed out on actually was the Ford Falcon XB. That was the car that was missing from the set when I got there, but this was there for me. Anyway, I, I ended up, they posted this to their Instagram, and I ended up calling immediately and said, hey, can you grab that one off the front peg and just hold it for me? I'll be by after work to pick it up. And they said, yeah, they would do it. So that was pretty sweet of them to do. Um, but anyway, someone had pick up the, picked up the Ford Falcon XB that was in the series. Um, there are some really nice cars in that series. Uh, but very happy to check another Green Machine uh, VW bus off the list. And we are going to crack that in the second half of the video, of course. Um, and then I also picked up this one. So I had to pick up the Skyline from that series. So we're going to go ahead and crack that in the second half. And then they had stocked Tokyo Torque. Now they stocked, oh boy, had to be at least four cases of Tokyo Torque on the pegs. And, um, and I don't remember if I heard this, I think in Heavy Metal 164's video, that I think there was originally in a production issue with the 240Zs, or the, the Z cars that were in there. Um, and the initial cases, I think, were only coming with three models. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe they only came with three. So, like, the yeah, the, the Bree Datsun 240s, um, the Datsun Baja, and the other Datsun 240, the 71, were all not there, but there was like, you know, each case it looked like had two of these in it, um, two of these in it, and then two of the white GTR, which I did not pick up the white GTR. Um, I just got these two um, R34s, which is, I guess, a 2001 M-Spec and a 2002 GTR R34. I don't know what the difference is between those two because I'm not a huge JDM guy and I couldn't tell you. Um, they're definitely the same tooling and we're going to open them both up anyway. And then what is this one? So this one is a 2000. So we got a 2000, a 2001, and a 2002. And I don't know if there's any difference, but we're going to go ahead and we're going to open them up and look at them anyway. So we'll be looking at them close as well as we can also compare them a little bit to the Hot Wheels R34. Um, I pulled one of those out for the second half of the video. We can go ahead and take a look at, uh, I guess, how these compare to that. So uh, there is that. So that is my in-store find. Just one stop at Toys R Us after work. And thankfully they held this for me because I was first on the trigger to call them. As soon as I saw it on their, they posted this to their Instagram. I just gave them a holler right away. I just posted a picture of the peg saying, new die cast is in. And I saw that thing hanging on the front. So I'm like, I'm going to give these guys a call and see if they'll do me a favor. And they did. So, awesome. Thank you. All right. So, next is going to be eBay finds, which um, I got two packages from eBay. I had a little bit of PayPal money, and I uh, was able to buy a couple things. So, these uh, first three things were from one seller. Um, I got this Johnny Lightning Firebird. Uh, this thing is pretty sweet. It's from uh, Firebird Release 3. Uh, from Johnny Lightning, and I believe that came out when here. I'm never good at finding these copyright dates. Oh, 2006, I think. So I think 2006 these came out. This is the 78 Pontiac Firebird. We are going to go ahead and crack this in the second half of the video, of course. Pretty cool yellow Firebird with uh, rubber tires. 
Um, and then I picked up this guy off of that same seller. This was loose already. Um, this is the Smoking the Bandit Trans Am. This is the original release of this, I believe. Um, it's got the wheels from the original release, and it's got the uh, Confederate flag um, license plate. So um, I think that's from the original Hollywood release of Smokey and the Bandit. And I got these all pretty cheap. I think I got all three cars together. So there's that one, and then this guy. This is a Black Bandit. And I want to say shipped. I don't think I think I paid like like four bucks for this, like four bucks for this, and I think this was like six six dollars. So, you know, and then the shipping. So it was about 20 bucks or so, under $20, I got the three cars shipped, which isn't too bad, especially to get this first release, um, Smokey and the Bandit car. Because I know that this one, I think, goes for a little bit of uh, money, typically when you find it on the card. But, you know, I'm pretty much a loose collector now, so I'm not too concerned. I know they made a lot of these. This one's number 12,578. So, but it's pretty cool. We'll take a look at it close up in the second half of the video. It does have the reflective... Um, paint for the taillights which is nice which is uh something that older green lights had a lot of and the newer stuff for whatever reason doesn't um so there's that and then my other ebay find was a seller was selling these uh this ultra red this is from the newest series i think it was like 22 dollars or something shipped and i was like all right yeah i'll take it whatever i had some paypal money and i decided to just uh go for it so i, I picked this up 22 bucks not bad so this is the um, 2011 Chevy Camaro, um, and then I also brought out, I already cracked one of these black ones from the same release, uh, 2017 release 4, and I didn't crack this guy yet, but we will crack this in the second half of the video, and as well as in the second half of the video, we'll also take a look at all of the variations to date of this car, of this tooling. So there's only three other ones, There's because it was only released in one other release, which was... Um, License Premium Release 1, and uh, we'll take a look at uh, the three cars from that release, so the two regulars and the Ultra Red. So there's that, and then um, also in the second half of the video, so that's pretty much all I found. That's all that was added to the collection this week. In the second half of the video, though, I just grabbed some random stuff I wanted to open up. Um, so starting with these two Johnny Lightning 350Zs. So these are from the Black with Flames or the Street Freak series, 2017 release two. Uh, they're limited to 12.56 each. Um, so we're gonna crack these open and then I'll compare it to the other one that I already have. I only have one other variation of this car and they actually haven't released it too many times. Um, so this is one of those Johnny Lightning castings. I probably will try to get every uh, variation out there or at least the easy ones. I think there's some like um, collector club ones or holiday ones or something that are gonna be tough to get when I was looking them up, but. Uh, the other ones are going to be kind of easy, but when they do pop up on eBay, usually uh, people are asking a little bit too much for them. So, and that happens. You just got to be patient. You wait. If you can wait long enough, you end up getting these for a decent price or getting whatever you want really for uh, a better price than just if you if you can't wait for it. So, there's that. And then uh, the other thing I pulled off my wall, and this is kind of a random one. This is a, a Toyota off-road truck. Um, I'm not sure how much it differs from this tooling here. I think it's the same. This is the Super from 2015. And then this is from the Down and Dirty series. I have no idea where these were sold um, or what. Maybe it was sold on HotWheels.com. I'm really not sure. I'm not sure where it was sold, but anyway, it's the Down and Dirty. These are limited to 20000 but uh, there's a Toyota off-road truck for you. We're going to crack that open in the second half of the video. All right, so that's going to be it. Let's flip the camera around. Let's go ahead. This will probably be, I mean, I always say it's going to be a short one. It's never going to be a short one. It's going to be at least 20 minutes. So uh, we're going to go ahead and flip around the camera and we're we'll crack all this stuff open and take a look at some stuff close up per usual. All right, let's do it. All right, so let's start off with a couple of Hot Wheels. Why not? Let's uh, start off with this down and dirty uh, metal collection Hot Wheels Toyota truck. Um, go ahead and open it up. Limited to one of 20,000. And here it is. It's very nice. Um, the blue paint looks really, really nice. Um, yeah, it's a nice looking Toyota off-road truck. I do dig this casting. I think it's pretty cool. Um, 
And then uh, we got the Super here, the Super Toyota truck. I think I traded to get this a while back. I've had it hanging on my wall for a long time. We're going to go ahead and just open her up, though. And there it is. A very cool-looking Super, I thought. Um, I thought it was really neat when it came out. We got BF Goodrich tires on this one. Um, this one has a plastic base. This one actually has a full metal. It's all metal. So that is pretty neat. Um, I think that's the same. Yeah, it's got to be the same. Pretty much the same tooling except for something a little weird here where this is like closed. I oh, know it is open. It's just open on one side. Okay, so that's it. And then that. Okay. All right, so yeah, it is the exact same tooling. Um, now, I believe this wheel comes off, I think, and I'm not going to try to tug on it too hard, um, but I'm pretty sure that little back wheel comes off. And on this one, it looks like it's just a rim, like there's no there's no wheel, really. And I think it would... I don't think it comes off. I think that's actually part... Yeah, that's part of the tooling. So that's probably why, because this is a metal base, this is a plastic base, and they probably didn't want to spend the money to have the extra metal to make it an actual full-size tire. It would have been cool if they would have actually put a real uh, tire on the back. That would have been pretty awesome, but of course they did not do that. Um, just a neat casting. I do like it. It looks really nice in this uh, Spectra Flame Red. Really, really cool. BF Goodrich tires. I already mentioned that, but anyway, really, really cool. Um, I did find the Falcon livery one. I found two of those supers, but I traded them, ended up trading both of them away, and then with plans on replacing it, and then I never did. So maybe down the road at some point I will replace that one uh, so I can have one. So if anybody's got one loose or on a really junky card or something that they want to get rid of it for cheap, um, I might be interested in it, but I'm definitely not going to, like, you know, trade a ton for it because it's not something I'm super into but whatever I, I wouldn't mind having it all right so there is that and pretty neat so there's your two little Toyota off-road trucks added now to the loose collection this added to my loose super collection which is slowly growing and uh pretty cool to have that all right so then let's move on to some Trans Ams we'll start with this uh Johnny Lightning um so this is a pretty cool one now when these come up on eBay and I've been now I'm I'm gonna go after every variation of Firebird from Johnny Lightning. Well, all the cool ones anyway. There are some junky castings from the real early days of Johnny Lightning that I don't really like. And you know, if you're a Johnny Lightning collector, you know that there's there's some hit or miss um, castings in there. And some of the early ones are really cartoony looking. Um, this one is 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 nice. Very, very nice. Now, this is the uh, 19, uh, what is it, 78 Trans Am. Uh, they do this tooling with a different front end for the, like, 78s, 79s, and, uh, and 80. That's what it goes up to. Um, I always like the front end of the, the 77s, or the 77s, 78s, or whatever. I think it looks really cool. Um, the tires are lettered. You got BF Goodrich tires on these. Um... Rims look good. It's a nice roller. Um, hood opens. So there's that. They do make a yellow one. I'm not sure if it's the same year. They make a yellow one with a chicken on the hood. Um, but I think it's got plastic tires. Uh, but anyway, I'm after all the Johnny Lightning uh, Trans Ams, especially the ones from this era. Uh, I'm kind of after, so I've got a list of them now, and I don't have a whole lot of them. I'm probably going to do a video just on Johnny Lightning Firebirds, um, so just to show you what I have, and uh, so that might be coming soon. We'll see. All right, so there is that, and pretty neat. Um, I remember the guy on Instagram. It's at uh, Custom164 Farm Trucks. Ah, man, I just butchered his Instagram name. But anyway, he also has a YouTube channel, and now I'm totally drawing a blank on the name, and I really apologize for that. But maybe I'll put a, a link to your channel, bud, down in the description below. But just did a whole um, thing on Johnny Lightning Trans Ams and Trans Am castings of this era. So um, that was a really cool little series of videos that I watched, and uh, just had a bunch of really neat variations of this, and it kind of inspired me to really go after these cars. So thank you, and I'm sorry I butchered your name, but I will put... A link down in the description. All right, so thank you, and uh, there is that. All right, so the next up is the green light stuff. We'll start with the smoky Trans Am. 
So there's the Smokey and the Bandit. You can see the uh, Confederate flag on the license plate there. There is reflective paint back here. It says um, on the back, Band 1. Smokey and the Bandit, the first one. And uh, this one is really nice. Glad to add it to the collection. Um, then this is the like re-release, one of the re-releases of it. This car has been released a bunch of different times and a bunch of different things. I think there was like a film reel. Of course, there's a hitch and toe. It had different wheels in most of them. So here is the other one. It's still got that same license plate, but of course, no Confederate flag business on the front because it's pretty much like, right, illegal to put that on anything nowadays or something. I don't know. Anyway, I'm not going to get political on this channel, but uh, both of them look pretty cool. Definitely prefer this one. I definitely prefer the wheels on this one over this one. Uh, this one also sits a little funny, as you can see. Sometimes that happens with green light castings. They will sit. You can tell it's not level, so something's up with the way the base was put on. And that happens quite a bit with green light. But anyway, so there's that. And then I just brought up, for the heck of it, here's a Smokey and the Bandit 2 Trans Am. This is a re-release of this. This is a 1980 Trans Am as opposed to a 77. And uh, here's this guy. So this is not the original Smokey 2 Hollywood casting. Um, they, Like I said, they released it a bunch of times. And I will probably kind of go after all the variations as long as they're different enough. Meaning as long as they have like different wheels, I probably will go after them. Um, the other thing is like the gold on this original release is definitely not as bright as it is on these re-releases. And... That was pointed out by, oh man, I wish I could, I should have looked up your YouTube name before doing this video. But anyway, uh, so there is that. And uh, then we got the Black Bandit one. Really neat. This is the second time that this Trans Am, I believe it's the second time this Trans Am was released in a Black Bandit uh, series. I don't recall off the top of my head which series this one is. Uh, but I really like it nonetheless, and it looks really good. And I uh, was glad to score this one. So this one's 2398 is the number on that one, in case you care about numbers. So there is that guy. All right, so moving on, but sticking with green light, let's move on to this green machine. So this is my first chase of 2018, and hopefully the first of many. And it's really nice that I scored this because I actually collect it. It's cool when you score chase cars that you actually collect. I mean, it's cool to get some trade bait too, obviously, but just really sweet when you can find one that you know you actually want in your collection so there is that and classic the back axle doesn't roll I'm sure after I monkey with it a little bit it's because this tire is kind of like wonky but anyway whatever it's number 204 and I really I really dig it I love the Black Bandit green machines when they do green body stuff. It just looks fantastic. This green looks fantastic with black. And it does look like there's a black undercoat like underneath the emerald green. And it kind of gives it a un more unique kind of green machine look. Almost like the green is darker. I think, I hope that comes across on camera. Maybe it does, maybe it doesn't. But um, really, really awesome to add this to the collection. The wheels are super cool on it too, in spite of the fact that the back axle doesn't roll because one of the tires is wonky. Uh, but whatever, it's, it's going to be a static display anyway. I shouldn't really complain. It's not like I'm going to be rolling these things down a track or anything like that. It looks like just the rim. There's some issue with the rim that's causing the tire not to sit on there quite right. So it's got a, it's got a bump in it. But probably something I could pull the tire off and fix, but I definitely probably won't. All right, so there is that. And now let's move on, sticking with Black Bandit for a second. We'll go the Skylines in chronological order, starting with the 2000 Nissan Skyline GTR R34. This one's number 3137. So I'm guessing, yeah, there's definitely under 10,000 of these Black Bandits made, um, which I think is typical. Oh, this is really cool. It's actually got a carbon fiber, like a full carbon fiber hood. That actually looks really awesome. So fantastic job on that. It's got that there, and it's also got it on the on the wing. So there's your detailed motor. Um, pretty nice, man. Oh, look at that tire. Probably can't. It's probably gonna be hard to see it because we're black, you know, black on black. But uh, maybe we can put the tire back on properly. Oh, there we go. That's fine. 
So there that is. Ah, this looks fantastic, I must say. Looks really good. Um, really, really good with that carbon fiber stuff going on. That is really cool. All right, I like that. All right, so the next is going to be the 2001 Nissan Skyline GTR for the Tokyo Torque Series, which I'm sure is going to be a popular series because everybody loves JDM, right? Um, and so here this is in gold. Looks really good. Um, kind of got the effect of having disc brakes behind the rims, which is sweet. And again, you get lens detail in the front there for headlights, which looks nice. And then we got the motor in there, which is the same as the one in here. I don't think there's any difference at all. Uh, nope, same color, same everything. So really cool. I don't know what the difference is between the two years and the cars, and I can't really pick it out offhand. Uh, someone that's an expert in these vehicles, let me know in the comments down below what the difference is. But there's those two, and then let's go to the 2002. So one more model year newer. And this one I'm noticing something interesting about. Oh, I just it is on this one too. Like this back piece is actually separate. It's plastic. So the metal base only goes to here, and then there's a plastic piece over the top or over the top of it, which has the uh, tailpipe or the muffler and or the exhaust tip or whatever the heck it is. Anyway, so this one's number 436. It's a pretty low number. And then this one's number 1276. And when I look at green light cars and there's a bunch of the same casting, I do not look for the lowest number. I look for the casting that is least likely to have issues when I pull it out of the package is what I look for. And I tried hard on these ones. This one, though, also has that issue where it's like one side sits lower than the other side. Which I hate that. I don't know. Why does that happen? I don't know. Um, why it's so crooked like that. Um, it's not like the axles in there. It's like the base is not put on correct. But I did notice now that this is a screwed together car. So I actually might be able to fix it. So, and that I probably will do just because. Now, one thing I noticed off the top, of my, right off the top here is the hood is different on this one. And maybe that's because it is the, uh, what is it? The 2002, I'll just GTR R34. So this one's actually the M spec, which I don't know. I know nothing about. And then uh, this one is the, uh, just the 2002, I guess. All right, so anyway. There it is, looks pretty good, except for the fact that it is definitely wonky. This side sits really high, this side sits about where you'd want it to sit. Uh, so there's that, and that's a hard one to look out, look out for in the package because they sit in this way. So, and maybe that's part of it, how they're sitting in the package, That I have no idea. But anyway, it seems a lot of green lights have that issue. They just don't sit correct. Um, so there's that, and then just a quick compare. Here is the Hot Wheels R34. I'm guessing it's the 2002 because it's got that hood. <laughs> Could totally be wrong. But uh, the Hot Wheels one looks nice. It's a little bit larger than 164 scale, if this is a correct scale. Um, but uh, the Hot Wheels one looks pretty good, too. And this is, of course, from the Replica Entertainment series. But uh, I think it looks, looks all right in comparison. These would sit pretty decent together. This one's definitely bigger. But uh, there you go. So there is your, for you JDM fans, there's your Skyline. So, I'm actually sticking with JDM for just a second. Why not? Let's go right to this, and then we're going to do the Auto World last here. So here is your Nissan 350Z from the Street Freaks series. Let's pull it out. We don't really need to take a look around the package. This has plastic wheels, but some pretty decent ones. Pretty cool little casting. Uh, when the 350Z came out... Um, I really dug it. I, I wanted one. Like in 2004, I really wanted to get one. I was like, I really want one of those cars. But uh, yeah, now I guess it would not, not be my first choice. But um, I thought they were pretty cool when they when they came out. And then here is this. This is the version A that we just looked at. The version B. Again, this is in the black with flames series. So here it is, the more traditional color flame. These rims, same rims. Looks pretty good. And then the only other version of this car that I have is from the Poker series, which I showed in a previous video a while ago. I think this is definitely still the best version that I've got. I think this one looks really neat. 
um, and just a straight black with red trim. And it's got that uh, little spade on the on the hood, um, and then it also has those felt green seats, which are kind of goofy. But I think this one looks the best out of these three, maybe just because of the wheels alone. So, all right, so there's that, and then. See, I told you this video was going to be short, right? And then we still got a little bit more to go through. So the next is going to be just Auto World. So I already cracked this one. There's the black one of that. Looks great. So let's go ahead and crack the white and orange. And here that is in white and orange. And then we'll crack the ultra red pretty much right away here. This is a really cool casting from Auto World. Um, it's it's different from um, a lot of the toolings that Auto World has, at least in their their premium line. And I'll show you why in a second. <clears throat> there is the ultra red. Still maintains the uh, gray stripe, or the silver stripe, and looks pretty good. One thing I noticed about these wheels I had not noticed previous to this release is that it does show the disc brakes behind it. I don't know if you can see that. It might be tough to pick up on camera, but it does look like there's circles behind there. So here you go, another beautiful ultra red, and they're doing the white bases again. So there is that. And then just to take a quick look, here is the other times it was released. This is from License Premium Release 1, which they don't do the License Premium anymore. This one's got chrome rims, and it's got red seats on the inside, which you can barely tell, and then it's like orange or orangish red. And then there was this one that has just the chrome lip on the rim, but then the other ones are just like a silver. And that one looks pretty nice too. And then the ultra red of that, which I just posted to my Instagram for Murder Mitten's birthday. Shout out to you, buddy, on Instagram. So here is that. I took some sweet pictures of this and posted it up on Instagram. So here's the two ultra reds together. Um, Pretty much the same exact hue of red, which they should be. This one is definitely a little darker, though. Probably won't be able to tell on camera. Uh, but there is that. All right, so the thing I wanted to point out about this casting is this is screwed together. Um, and I believe it is the only auto roll casting that's been in the premium line that is has screws. All the rest of them are riveted. And I'm not sure why that is, but my guess is, is that it might have been originally planned to be released in the true LE line which this is. So this is a screwed together casting. This is from the Auto World uh, True LE line, which did not last very long. This was the only um, tooling that was used in it. And my guess is that this Camaro tooling was originally slated for that line. And then got, when they, they decided to discontinue that line, it got bumped into, uh, into <clears throat> going into the premium line um, so and again this one actually has chrome rims too and I just realized that so these two both have chrome rims and then the other ones have silver rims with a chrome lip so pretty cool including this one now there is also a variation of this original release ultra red with red seats so it basically it have the interior of this car uh, but it's a kind of a rare variation. I know it's tough to find. So, and I know I don't think Murder Mitten has one either. And he's a avid Auto World collector and has every release, every Ultra Red, everything. I guess except for probably that one. All right, so that's going to be it. So there's the Camaros, pretty sweet Camaros. Thank you guys for watching another week weekly vid. Um, again, I hope you had a great start to your new year, and uh, hopefully you all found a chase this week to kick off the year. And if not, that's okay too. And I uh, look forward to uh, spending another year making some vids for you guys and uh, sharing my collection with you. And again, thank you very much for watching. Uh, have a good next week.